All right, what's up everybody? It's your boy Akeen and welcome to today's second blog. Here to give you a scout report on Darquez Denard, the cornerback out of Michigan State. Now he helped propel this team to become the Rose Bowl champions after a big win at the Rose Bowl against the Stanford Cardinal and he had a great defensive effort this past season. He was a three year starter for Michigan State and he actually ended up leaving with good standards. With 62 tackles this past season, 10 pass breakups and four interceptions. He was a consensus all American and the Jim Thorpe Award winner given to the nation's top defensive back. He had an outstanding season. And I think he could be a good, reliable cornerback in the National Football League. Now let's talk about his strengths headed towards this year's draft. He's well booked, built at 5'11", 197 pounds. And he has good long arms, well good size for his position at cornerback. And I think he runs, he uses the, the field pretty well at, in his position and playing against these wide receivers that he did play against in college football. He used the sideline very well to help narrow the receivers and their, narrow their space using the sideline pretty well. And he actually ran well with the receivers. Now he does need to increase his speed. He runs a 4 5, five 40. And you're going to be playing against top faster receivers in the National Football League. So he does need to increase his speed. But he has good patience and good body control. And he has outstanding fluidity in my opinion. Good fluid hits but to help him change from direction to direction. And I do like his leadership. He, I think he's a good defender and a good leader on the defensive side. And that's why he was a consensus All-American, a good overall player. Overall, he has good mental um, stability and help, and help him hit with his play and not too much as a physical. Now, that actually leads to his weaknesses. He is a good, but he's not a great athlete. He can sometimes extend his arms against receivers, and which gives them space to catch the football. He needs to improve at that and run well with the receivers. He does run well with the receivers in college football, but he runs a 4 5, five 40, and that's not, it's a little bit on the slow side. Not slow, but hopefully he can get, increase his speed a little bit better to stick up with these wide receivers in the National Football League. Now, also another weakness, he didn't, wasn't really challenged too much during his stay at Michigan State, even with this season. He didn't have to really deal with some top flight offenses, meaning offenses who are known for throwing the football well. The Big Ten Conference this past season was more of a running conference, and he didn't have to really hit step up to good passing quarterbacks, and that's kind of a little bit of concern for some of these scouts in this in, in the NFL, but I still think it's a good player overall. Now, I project him to go at least at the latest in the, in the 15th pick belongs to the Pittsburgh Steelers. They're still looking at him and as well as um, another player, Justin Gilbert, as well as at the number 10 slot and uh, at, for the Detroit Lions. Detroit's definitely in def desperate need for a cornerback and they're either looking at Justin Gilbert from Oklahoma State or Denard from Michigan State. But I still think if he doesn't get picked by round 15, he by pick number 15, he should be picked within the first round of this year's draft. And that's just my projection that him, he can either go at 15 for um, the Pittsburgh Steelers or at number 10 to the Detroit Lions and still have some debating to do. But I still think he could be a good, reliable, honest player in the National Football League. I'm not sure he's going to be a star, but I still think he could be a good, reliable starter and have a decent career in the NFL and in the next level. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys is tomorrow where I will continue with all my top five prospects for each position of this year's draft with my top five outside linebackers. Thank you for watching today's blogs from Pro Football Exclusive. I'm your man, Akeem. McCall, be easy.